slow from those dryads. He's going to slow down that Naga just enough. And the Demon Hunter is going to get him just barely right there. Takes him down. But it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. That's a little bit of a comeback. Uh, but once again, the Demon Hunter is now in a little bit of a bad position. And he's going to take a lot of damage. He's going to go after that mortar team. And by golly, he'll get that mortar team. Uh, but he's already taken a beating. Um, and now he's not going to be able to get out of here alive. He's able to staff out the Naga, which saves the Naga, but the Demon Hunter is history. So, you just, you, you got to be a little bit more careful with your heroes there. And, you know, the Demon Hunter is great at taking out your opponent's heroes. And that's, you know, in a sense, that's what the Demon Hunter does best. Attack, click your enemy hero, and that hero is going to die, you know, half the time. But you have to choose your battles wisely, and you can't, um, you can't just go recklessly after your opponent's heroes left and right um, because sooner or later it's going to cost you more than you gain. So it's cost him 350 gold in a TP. It's cost him a ton of moon juice because he's had to constantly heal his heroes up. He had to revive his Naga. He had to revive now his uh, DH. And so, and he had to build that uh, AP just because, you know, he was basically hurting. So now well, he's bought a Moonstone as well to try and you know get a little bit more Moon Juice going, and all of this means he's got you know two bears at this stage of the game instead of having I don't know four or five bears at this stage of the game. He's he's had to spend a lot of money on other things that uh, maybe had he played it a little tighter, a little more cautiously, maybe he would not have had to spend that money. So you, know, you have to give credit to Zyligan there too. He had good micro and that uh, uh, kind of. In a sense, he was able to lure that Demon Hunter into a bad position, knowing that he was hell-bent on uh, killing his Archmage. So, yeah, well played. So anyways, the human, uh, Zyligan, uh, is currently at 46 food, and he's in control, so he's able to creep a little bit more significant creep camp. He lures the creeps out into the middle of that channel so that that Watcher Ward is placed in a position where he will see all traffic coming in and out of that channel. And that's a good thing, because that is pretty much directly in between the two uh, bases. So uh, as the armies move back and forth through there, he's going to know exactly what's going on, and that's a good thing. He's also able to buy a couple of healing scrolls, and here is the classic Tier 2 push. He's going to bring peasants. He's got two ivory towers. He's now assembled an army of a couple of mortar teams and several sorceresses. He's able to steal that item there, which is a nice item for the Naga, that greater healing potion. And, yeah, really Diesel is forced to kind of retreat a little bit here. Um, so the Naga's going to use uh, her abilities to slow down that bear, and they're not quite going to get the bear kill there as they're able to staff him out of there. But as he retreats, he's taking a lot of damage, a lot of free hits for Xyligan. So he's going to come in here. He's going to kind of get himself into the position that he likes, and that's going to enable the mortar teams to just kind of take out that ancient protector for starters. He's going to move these peasants up into a position where basically all those peasants are going to do, as you see, there's about eight or nine of them there. They are going to essentially um, just create a little bit of a barrier. Uh, the night elf is going to have to make a decision. Uh, do I attack the peasants, which really are, are not the critical units, or do I move around them? And by moving around them, that gives Zyligan enough time to use his sorceresses to slow pretty much every bear. And that's really a, an, an essential part of this uh, tactic that Zyligan's using. You see, he uses the heal scrolls to counter the fork lightning coming from the Naga of Diesel. And so he's got the, the advantage there. Every time one of those uh, fork lightning goes off, he just pops a heal scroll, and that negates most of that damage. And he's able to use slow and the obstruction of those peasants to just continually slow down the bears and whenever he needs to you'll see he'll just back his army off and then he'll turn and he'll focus fire again and uh, gradually just trying to take out as many of the bears as he can and you'll see that the, the bears are a couple of them are yellow one of them dies right there um, gosh you, you get a, a breaker in the mix to steal some of that roar and all of a sudden your mortar teams are are doing enormous damage. It's like plus 15 damage on those mortar teams. So he's going to get another bear right here. Nope, no he doesn't. He's able to staff him out of there. And this time, the Archmage is the one that gets a little over-aggressive, gets stuck in a bad spot, and goes down. So right about now, it looks like maybe the tides are turning, but Xyligan does something that's that's pretty smart, a little bit of quick thinking. 
He continues to try and take down the bears. He continues to, to use those peasants. He's now got the the Naga surrounded by peasants. Uh, and so he's, you know, heck, they're just peasants, but they're, they're dishing out a little bit of damage there. And he buys his Archmage back right here at the tavern. He had enough gold to do it, and here goes the DH down once again. Uh, again, the DH just got himself in a little too deep, got uh, a little too carried away, and once he was in red health, it was just a matter of a sorceress casting slow and a couple of uh, cold arrows from that Naga, and that's good game for the DH. So... Uh, you can see the game is pretty much in hand now. These bears are going to go down. They're slowed. They're, you know, very low on hit points. And now we're going to see a little bit more uh, of what uh, was intended all along by Zyligan. He's going to continue to push here with this Tier 2 push. He's simply been replacing units that he's lost out of his Dual Sanctum, single workshop uh, base build. So he's now got an army that consists of uh, three mortars, uh, four sources, sorceresses and a priest for some healing. And really that's all he needs. Again, the, the peasants are all dying a gruesome death right now, but hey, they've, they've kind of served their purpose, quite frankly. The mortar teams are dishing out plenty of damage, and even the sorceresses do uh, decent damage against those heavy armor uh, bears. So the bears are falling one at a time, and all Diesel can do at this point is retreat and, and just hope to hold on long enough to get his his demon hunter out, and he doesn't have the economy really to even build uh, more bears, and so Zaligan's in control. He's able to drop those ivory towers and start to convert those into arcane towers and cannon towers. I mean, whatever he wants to do, basically, at this point. Uh, the game is his. He's taken out those moon wells, which means no more mana replenishment, no more uh, hit point replenishment, and no more food in order to build an army for Diesel. So, uh, yeah, he just got a couple of uh, spellbreakers added to his army now, so he's obviously in control. So the game is going to end here. The Demon Hunter does come back out one more time, but at this stage of the game, there's really not much he can do. Um, and so Zaligan's won this thing. And, um, you know, I think you can learn something from this replay. Um, I guess from the Night Elf perspective, you can't afford to take the kind of damage that he did, not only early on, but really throughout the game with his Demon Hunter. Um, he was aggressive with the Demon Hunter, which, you know, that's what you want to do, but he just got in a little too deep a couple of times to where he couldn't get out, and without that Demon Hunter, you know, your army is going to suffer greatly. And um, so, you know, that was kind of the, the mistake that um, that Diesel made. Uh, he just didn't allowed that Demon Hunter to take too many free hits, too much damage. He got stuck into some awkward positions a couple of different times. Um, Zyligan, you see this uh, dual sanctum, single workshop strategy quite a bit nowadays. Um, it's very effective against Night Elf. Uh, if the game had gone longer, you probably would have seen a few more spell breakers. Uh, it works pretty well. The breakers do a decent job against the bears. That tier 2 push it can oftentimes be pretty effective, uh, if, particularly if you can get a couple of towers up in the Night Elf base. you got the mortar teams that are kind of in the back doing a lot of damage, and really the bears aren't able to get to the casters and the mortars as effectively as they would like because they've got slow cast on them the whole time, plus you've got the naga slowing them down. So that is what really gives the micro edge to the human player. And, you know, yes, you can abolish slow using those dryads, but you're probably not going to be able to abolish slow on all of those bears. And uh, so uh, not to mention the fact that if you've got three or four mortar teams focusing on the dryads, the dryads aren't going to last very long. They're going to go down in one or two volleys from those mortar teams. So, hey, it's an effective strategy for human players. Uh, hopefully you guys have picked up some hints here that you can put into your own play style, and good luck uh, using this to your own advantage uh, as you uh, play some games on Battle.net. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. And, hey, that's enough out of me. Inspire G signing off. Peace. Peace.